The Lord is our refuge. We can find peace in God's abiding love. When trouble assails us, we call upon the Lord. When joys abound, we call upon the Lord. Welcome this day to God's house, one of many dwellings of the Almighty One. Thank you and praise God for his refuge and sanctuary. Amen. 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 Opening selection, Jesus Call of Us, number 398 and 100. Thank you. 
several ways of starting and issuing forth worship. You all will notice that I'm familiar with the pattern of worship that in our temple and book of worship we have colics and we have greetings and we have gatherings and we have call to worship. One of the oldest forms of starting and beginning worship is found in the message and teachings of Jesus most passionately on the night of his betrayal when Christ gathered amongst his disciples and as the disciples came into the upper room, Jesus took a towel and girded his waist and began the process of welcoming them into worship by the washing of their feet. This morning as we come back into our sanctuary, some of the members started very fitting and purposeful that we bring back that traditional opening of service and allow symbolically the process of washing of feet to remind us that Christ brings us in and that those who seek to be greatest in the kingdom of God must first be willing to serve. At this time we will have our foot washing symbolic foot washing.
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Those little children are going to be morning, guys. Y'all ready to wake up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Roll call. But I'm happy to announce that most of my youth that I know of 
gone home and returned home safely, watching them graduate. And also, Mia finished y'all her junior at Benedict on yesterday. I was a problem of packing that girl up. <laughs> y'all, girl, y'all don't know. And I'm proud to say that she'll be going back in June the 4th to be in doing an internship again. Hey, please don't take that. So we just thank you guys for y'all support and passion. Thank you just for letting me be you guys as a bill. And you might not see what my little shirt said, but it was a gift, but it was given to me for a point in time for the day y'all. He said, walk by faith. And what the, that's what we've been doing. And that's why we're back in our sanctuary. Amen. So remember, encourage, empower, and quit. But most of all, pray for each other. Not chastise, but pray for one another. Continue to walk by faith. The greatest blessing you want to move. Yeah. 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 I have one to correct from the DSM board. Um, we will be celebrating uh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is here at, starting at 1230. And unless everybody come out and see what our Facebook and how energetic they work, because they're part of our community and part of our church, including Cafe and uh, Teresa and the other ones that are kin with us. It really puts on a good program, the plans are good for us. Good morning, Wesley. Good morning. Uh, as many of you already know, uh, the Florence District United Methodist Men are in the process of starting a mentoring program uh, for children or kids uh, in third through eighth grade. And uh, the pilot program will begin here at Wesley, hopefully. And uh, we're in the process right now coordinating with the Florence District uh, uh, three school uh, superintendent's office. And uh, once we've done that, hopefully they can give us some support and materials that we might need to get started with. And when that happens, uh, of course, we are trying to move forward, but we're going to need uh, your support. And so that's what I'm asking for. If this happens, we're going to need everyone's support and to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you. 
warmed up. I would like to give a great round of applause to the reentry committee. Amen. Amen. While your hands are still warmed up, and they feel a little bit warmer now, amen? Yeah. Amen? Give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. Amen? Yeah.
the level he puts to shame. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone that the builders reject has become the cornerstone. And a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. The stones because they disobeyed the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful life. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of God to the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 We have to get back into the order of things and, uh, and bring back some of our tradition. And some of us are finding it cumbersome to do so, but at this time, amen, we would invite you all to stand and find your hymn book and turn to 881. maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born under the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sent forth the unhand of God the Father Almighty. From this you shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the forgiveness of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
like newborn infants, longing for a pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into the salvation. Indeed, you have tasted the Lord, but the Lord is good. So come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals yet chosen and precious in the sight of God. Like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God, if you will shape and mold and direct us so that we may hear and receive your word. God, if you will shape and mold and direct me that I may get self out the way. Anxiousness out the way. Let the grief and mourning I may be going through right now, may God be set aside for me. That we may feel the power of your teaching and proclamation in this place. Oh God, if you will, but we consecrate this sacred and holy word. Yeah. That your word, your teaching, may be real in our hearing. And God, we will continue to thank you for who you are and who you are being. The text in 1 Peter 2 and 1 through 12 describes God building a spiritual house. God, God is building a house. And God is building a spiritual house. And, and what God says in building this spiritual house, I need you to do something. I need you to be living something. Yeah. God, God, God is saying, I'm building a house. I'm doing the heavy lifting. I'm, I'm making it possible. But I need you to be living soul. Yeah. You, 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 you see, what God is basically saying is trust him to build the building. Yeah. But individually, you need to serve as priests and spiritual leaders. Individually. I'll build the building, God says, but you be the spirit Amen. that keeps it going. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. We must live good lives to all we encounter. We must be not strangers, but builders of all we see. We must be willing to be used by the people we come in contact with. You, you don't just sit there. You, you are used because there's a difference between a, a dead rock and a living soul. And God is calling us in his church to be Yes. I find it interesting in the text that it starts off with pure milk and Mother's Day and nursing a baby because as we approach this text, you know what jumps out at me so it's a beautiful. Just a week away from Mother's Day and the United Women of Faith are preparing to celebrate out this world. It just catches me that what did our mothers that have been foundations for most of us? What did our mothers that, that, that have built up and laid down the foundation that we depended on to make life possible? We got to be grateful that, 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 that. We got to realize that we're better because of our mothers. They, they, they were foundations for many of us, and we got to celebrate that. But that's next week. This week, we deal with Peter. Peter the Stone. Peter got a 
got a little carried away when Jesus was asking Peter about who the folks say I am and, 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 and who the people and, and, and Jesus said, you are the Messiah. And, and, and Peter said, you're the Messiah. And Jesus said, you're right. And from that on, you won't just be Simon, you'll be Peter, Petros, my rock. Because in acknowledging who I am, you now become a part of what I'm doing. Oh, yes. I'm transforming and changing you from just Simon and, and Andrew's brother to now you Peter the Rock. Amen. Oh, yes. Peter got all excited about being a rock. Yeah. And Peter began to stand on that rock. So we see here in First Peter a teaching on the rock. Can I hello somebody? And the teaching on the rock revolves around not just being Peter the rock, yeah. but what it means to be living stone. Yeah. Who won? Who won? Let's, let's look at rocks, Peter. Amen. Rocks. Watch this. I, I did some research. We come back in the building. I was going to do some research. Rocks are commonly divided into three major classes according to the processes that result in their formation. The first class, igneous rocks, which have solidified from molten material called magma. Hello, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, all right. Number two is sedimentary rocks. Yeah. Sedimentary rocks those consisting of fragments derived from pre-existing rocks are material and, 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 and they've been participated into their current form. Oh, oh, here I come. I got one more. Metamorphic rocks, which have been derived from either igneous or sedimentary rocks under conditions that cause them to change in their material and composition, texture, and internal structure. Amen. I talk, I talk to my little cousin Rob, who teaches biology of it. I talked to him, I asked him, I said, now what's important about this? And Rob said, well, really those categories don't matter that much no more. We found out in science recently that a rock can exist in any of the forms, that there's a cycle more than just a process. I said, oh, I thought I had some. I was going to share that with them. He said, but no, the, the, the forms are still important. Because they, they form the basis of the conversation. I said, oh, I got it. So as he told me that, I, I think Jesus was spot on when he called Peter the rock. And I think Jesus was spot on when he told Peter to tell the people to become stones. Amen. Because I, I believe in the church we have these different categories of maybe what we would call rock members. You have members that come and seem to be more indigenous. So they, they come and they seem to be more core members. They join because it was in their core. They, the core members, they know the scripture, they know the Bible, they know the book of discipline, they know, they know the research. They, they got it when they were born. They were born into the church, the church tradition. They know it through and through. The core members that, 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 that indigenous, they've been here. Since the church came about, in some means of fashion, from family from generation to generation, they always been here, always been around. Yeah. And, and then you have the cemetery rocks, cemetery rock members. They came lately. Uh -huh. They married in. Somebody brought them to Wesley one day, and they sat there. They said, "I like this. I'm gonna be there." They married some pretty girl or some handsome gentleman from Wesley and started to come to church and never left. They get cemetery. They, they may bring with them other church traditions. They may not be members at the court, but they, they have learned and adapted and, and morphed into a good member now. They, they serve in office and position as cemetery. They, you know, one of the things about cemetery is it's made up of levels. And they got some levels. You know, they got some Baptist left in them. Hello. They got some holiness left in them. Hello. They got some Pentecostal left in them. And they, they got some they lay up, stacked up, but still functioning as a rock. Then you, you got the metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic, they, I like them. Sometimes if you ask me, 
what members really get me going is the metamorphic members. Metamorphic members, when it says about metamorphic rock, if these rocks have been through something. Mm. Yes, sir. And their characteristic, their nature is not, not based on where they came from, but what they've been through. Yeah. Yeah, Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Metamorphic rocks have been through the storms, the sickness, the disease. They lost all the identity. They, they didn't have no faith until they came one day. And they didn't have nothing else but faith. And, and the pressure from what they've been through, the struggle that they've been through, has more them into something. But death and trauma, sickness and heartbreak, they come and metamorphic rocks are rocks after the storm. Mm. So, 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 so that's move number one, move number two. Jesus and the rocks. So, so, so Jesus said, like Peter, we need to be rocks. Now, that's not what Jesus said. Jesus didn't tell us to be rocks. If you're not careful, you miss that. Jesus told us to be stones. All right. Oh. Now, in fact, Jesus said, come to the living stone and be living stones. Oh. Yeah. You see, you see, you see, there's a difference. Come on, preacher. In a rock yeah. and a stone. See, I got some more research. I know all this. While, while many of us use the term interchangeably, there's a difference between the two. Stones are smaller than rocks. To sum it up, rocks are made out of stones. Hello? I find that some people think that the term stone is more formal, but it's the same thing. It's not. I find that some people say that, that the rocks could be hard and stone soft, but they can. I heard that stones are smooth and rocks are rough. And that stones are small and rocks are big. That's true. But, 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 but one of the things that gets me is a rock is not fashioned or shaped and has very little purpose. But a stone can be man made or created for a purpose. And you use the stone to serve the purpose that it was created for. I know somebody. I see y'all waiting, y'all like waiting for the world and keep going today. Yeah. Well, keep up, keep up, keep up. Jesus said, be a stone. As a matter of fact, Jesus is clear about it. He said, be a stone, a temple made stone. Yeah. A stone in the sanctuary. Let worship take place in you. Did I need to repeat that? I think y'all missed that. You be a stone in the sanctuary. Let worship take place in you. Don't get caught up in how big or being all things are. You be a stone. You be a stone. Even if being a stone means being smaller than a rock, you still be a stone. Because God can use little old stone you to build Take place in you. Amen. Y'all didn't hear that. All y'all was supposed to fall out in the aisle. That's right when I said that. It's in the notes. Church would fall out in the aisle. Church even us who would have to pick them up. Make worship take place in you. Make worship take place. In you. You don't come to worship. You don't show up at worship. You don't, you don't, you don't ride in worship. Nobody ushers you in the worship. Somebody has to bring you up so that you can stop the worship. You make worship take place in you. You make worship take place in you. You go on and up. You bring it up. You celebrate it in you. You make Yeah. Come on, preacher. That's the stuff right there. 
I'm sorry, I'm deep on y'all this morning. That's all right. That's what happened when you don't see. You are both the structure yeah. and the activity. Yeah. You the church and the praise. Come on, Chris. Yeah, y'all hear me. Y'all hear me. You're not waiting to get the church to be in the praise. According to Jesus, when he calls you to be a living stone, you are the church and the praise. Yeah. So when somebody sees you, they're not waiting to see your church. They want to see you as the church. You are the church. The world can't hold you back no more. Jesus. You become a stone. Yeah. 
a lot of us are acting like rocks, like we got all that going on and we bigger than everybody else. But God is calling us to be stars. Bring your little you, your little shades up, hardened up, rounded up, used for a purpose of and do the work that God has called you for. I'm finished, I'm finished with um watch this. There's a small flower in South Africa. And the name of the flower is the living soul. Funny little flower. Funny little it says funny little stone genius. That's the flower genius, is lithos. This is succulent.
on this pre-Mother's Day Sunday, this festival of Christian help. Help us to make our home in you. Amen. 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 Let us prepare ourselves for a word of table. Psalm on page 6 and 9. Before any of us move, let us take forth the invitation. The invitation is quite simple, but I think we need to share it with you. The invitation is found on page 6 says simply. Christ our Lord invites his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sins and seek to live in peace with one another. That's who God invites. Therefore, let us confess our sins before others. Merciful God, are you out there? Yes. Now I got your book. Page eight. Y'all with it? No. Right. We're on page I six. Gotta you, I got to get you back. I, I know it's been a while. It looks so heavy. Page eight. We're at the confession in court. Amen. 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 Now together, now that we're together, now together, our confession and pardon. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have done not done the will. We have broken the law. We have rebelled against you love. We have not loved our neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free of us, joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners that proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. 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 You all will turn to your nuns as the community students come forth. You will turn to your neighbors. Amen. Now, if you all did not ride together, you all did not come together, don't you all touch together. But if you all came together and you live together, you should look at that neighbor and you say, Look, God is able. God is able. God is willing. God is willing. God is willing. And God will. And God will. Amen. 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 Also with you. We lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and you breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love fell, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from the captivity and made the covenant to be our sovereign God. And spoke to us through your prophets and some of the people on earth and all the coming of heaven. We praise your name and join them in the hell. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy, you are blessed in your son Jesus Christ, your spirit and only come to preach the good news to the to the Lord, the youth, the captain, and the covenant of sanctity of God, to set at liberty those who are fresh and to announce 
that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick and fed the hungry. And ate with sinners. He baptized. He, by the baptism of suffering, death, and resurrection, he gave birth to your church. Delivered us from slavery, sin, and death, and made us in the covenant by the word. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to give us all things. And the power of the word and Holy Spirit, on the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave us the food, broke the bread, gave the disciples, and said, Take this in my body, which will be given unto you. Do this in remembrance of me. Put the disciples over and took the cup. Gave thanks to you, gave the disciples, and said, Drink from this oil, you, this is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you, and for the many, for the many of sins. Do this as often as you do it, and drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these many acts of Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. As we proclaim the mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. The Lord Jesus, for our children, let's gather here and be here with the bread and wine. May it be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world by Christ and be by the blood. By the Spirit, let us one with Christ and one with each other, one in ministry, it's all the world that the Christ comes in the country. And we peace in heaven again with you, your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Church, all honor and glory, your Lord, Father, now and forever. Amen. Now with the confidence of the uh, children of God, let's pray together the Lord's prayers for us. Our Father, 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 Amen. Because there is but one God, we call our many, our one body, for we partake of the one God, the bread which is the breaking and the sharing of the body of Christ, the cup of which we have given thanks is the sharing of the blood of Christ. We are ready to to the living life of Christ, to come and live by the others.
school class, and then we'll be back on the schedule soon. I see that we've gone on just a little bit, but amen. There's a lot of moving parts to put together today. A lot of things that maybe we could have practiced at another time. Amen. Let that voice come as we rest upon our feet. Quietly listen to the Lord's